It's Jonathan Milan's last day in a red jersey for Bahrain victorious. Would be a fairy tale farewell to the team from the Arabian Gulf for him. He's been looked after by the Serbian champion Rajovic. Three and nine, nine kilometers to go. And on the left hand side, first sighting of Tudor Pro Cycling. A good one, maybe, today for Arvid de Klein. There are a lot of fast men here, as you were just detailing. Look. It's a long straight section, we passed through three cases to go. The road then meanders to the left as we head towards the river. Bang on the two cases to go board. We swing right, head along the shores of the river, or the, the bank of the river, should I say, left and over the bridge, drop down, and then there's that final left as now. It is UET Memorates. Can Molano do a back-to-back? -back? And interesting, you're talking about uh, Vandenberg for EF Education. Easy Post is their sprinter. He's got a very important job to do today. It, almost the importance of his sprint um, is massive. He's almost defending the podium spot. Um, if the can of Hugh Carthy as well. I mean, there's a lot of other things that play as well. So his his result here could definitely help the interest of Carthy in making sure he defends that spot on the podium. So these last three Ks now, Rob, there's so much to play for. There could be some little movings around on the GC. And of course, will somebody double up or will we see a new Victor today? Inside those last three Ks, so any incidents or accidents or problems, everybody gets the same time in the general classification. That doesn't mean you can't follow the splits, though, and they are going to no. be vital. They are going to be important. Milan Fada in the red jersey must do that without at least two of his teammates here who are out of the game, Mick van Dijk and Steven Kralsvig. Left hand side, the black and white of UAT Emirates. On the right hand side, it's the dark red and navy blue of the Ineos Grenadiers. They move up to look after Ethan Hayter, who, if he does something special here, could end up on the podium. A reminder that there are 10 six four bonus seconds available for first second and third respectively in today's stage the road is wide as they sweep left swing right and there are two kilometers to go of the cycling season straight under this beautiful canopy here they disappear briefly they emerge in the beautiful sunshine heading it due north soon they will swing left and they'll see the flam rouge in the distance Luke Rowe on the front. Ineos Grenadiers have taken this up very, very early. And on the right-hand side, it looks like it's Alpacin moving up as well. Movistar also there too in this dappled light. This is where the road just swings around to the left. And very shortly, they'll head on to the bridge. The bridge coming up now. Plenty of people on the side of the road, as usual. It's been a fantastically attended event this week. Alpacin de Koenig take it up through that corner. Ineos Grenadiers moving up on the right-hand side, getting their main men into position. Arnold de Lee trying to find his teammates. Tudor in their black jerseys are there as well, looking for Arvid de Klein. On the right-hand side, Milan Fader up there. Olaf Koy is there too. They're into one kilometre to go now. They're over the bridge. One left turn coming up, and it's a big fight for it. We're ready for the final sprint, and it is Elia Viviani who looks like he's going to be doing the sprinting for Ineos Grenadiers. A look around, a look behind, they're all together. Final turn, and then an approach to the line. They'll be 400 metres from here. It's Rajovic at the front, the Serbian champion. He's alongside Ivo Oliveira. Oliveira there, the man for Portugal in his national jersey as well. Into the final turn they come. It is about to approach as Sam Bennett finds his way onto a big wheel. There we go. There's that sweep to the right, the lean to the left. And it's a final sprint that's ready to be launched here at the Tour of Guangxi. 300 metres to go now. It's Hater who is going to be leading out, or are they going to let the wheel go? Because there is uh, Elia Viviani, and there is the trick, there is the idea. They want to try and do it. Hater on the left hand side trying to take the win here, but Koi's coming around. Hater through the centre. Koi getting there. Bolana was there as well, and nobody knows who's won on the last day of the season. What a sprint, Rob, that was. Did you see the Viviani let the wheel go? Clever. Perfect little foil. That was so, so smart. We wondered whether it was Viv Viviani or Hater, and I think a lot of teams were looking, well, what, what's happened to Viviani? Let the wheel go. Whew. And they're calling it for Olav Koy. No massive celebration for him. He's not 100% sure yet, but well played tactically by the Ineos Grenadiers. There's a chance that Hater may well have taken one of the top three positions there. I'm guessing on third, but we'll have to wait and see. If he has, he may well be on the overall podium, and that would be a very, very good tactical play 
to take into the inn. So they look around, Milan Fada comes across the line. A celebration for him as he is the overall general classification winner at the Tour of Guangxi. He's congratulated by Sam Bennett there, who's just raced his last race in the colours of Bora Hanskra. It was all about those final two corners for positioning. We'll get another look at it in a minute. We're waiting for the results of the photo finish. But it looks as though they're calling it for Olav Koy. Yeah, it looks as if we'll get the overhead soon. It looked like uh, Milano was finishing very quickly. Decline was up there as well by the looks of it. Hayton may have just been caught on the line. Yeah, no doubting the winner. Um, but we wait with bated breath to see if there's going to be a shift on the podium but a big hug there for the man that's just won his first world tour stage race milan vada looks absolutely delighted well maybe a double dutch day for jombo visma on their final day in these colors and that name a happy birthday 22 today to olaf koi who looks like he's being called the winner of the sixth and final stage there's milan father He's just taken his first overall general classification win. Here it is then. And look at this. This was really clever. You could just see it building. Hater having a go. Viviani letting the wheel go. Dick up for him as well. Trying to use all that track craft to try and follow and go. Left hand side we can see it's Molano in the black and white. Right hand side it's Coy. The clan is on the wheel of Viviani, who's trying to control things. Ethan Hater is there sprinting away. There is Coy. It's second for Molano. It's third for Hater. And Ethan Hater, with the six bonus seconds, moves himself onto the general classification podium. And that is quite the result in this company. Ineos Grenadiers don't take a win on the last day, but they take a mightily good result. All the glory then to Jombo Visma, who take the stage win and the general classification. They go away from the week with three stage wins in the GC. The Ineos Grenadiers moving Ethan Hayter, their young British star, up onto the GC podium at the expense of British rider Hugh Carthy of EF Education Easy Post. Yeah, big shame for Carthy, but that's bike racing, isn't it? And they had to work really hard, strong and smart. Took that time bonus, had to reconfigure and go again, remember. It led him out perfectly for the last intermediate sprint. He took that and a brilliant sprint there. A selfless sprint, in fact, by Elia Viviani. Let the wheel go. And we know that Hayter can actually produce a pretty long sprint. And that's exactly what he did. Carried a lot of pace in. There was a briefest of hesitation which allowed Hayter to open up a sprint. And then, of course, Viviani also had to go too to stop anybody else getting any time bonuses without bringing back his teammate. So it was a real nuanced sprint, if you can call a sprint nuance, by Elia Viviani. But there's our victor, Milan Vada. But no, uh, a thrilling finale and another victory for Olav Koy. But yeah, good move up there by the British rider Hayter. Olav Koy winning on his birthday.